Welcome back to the channel. Teams list Tuesday for round 13. Um, this could be a really important round. For people like me that only have 10 players potentially playing, I could fall down the rankings even more. Um, but teams who have 17 players and get the right captain could soar up the rankings. So 13 and 17 could be make or break for some teams. Um, I'm not going to make any trades unless there's something or someone that's cheap and a good option for my team. But at the moment, I don't think there is. Um, but let's have a look at these teams. So we've got Broncos and Dragons. Dufty, fullback, Ramsey, Willi um, Braden Williami, Bill, Ravalawa, Norman Hunt, Laurie, McCulloch, Vaughan, Kerr, Bird. Bird into the forwards. Ford. Uh, Amon, Fasul Amali, Alviro, and Jack DeBellin. Jack DeBellin's only like 380 or something like that. But who knows if he's up to the task of this new standard of 2021 NRL. It's completely different to when he used to play. But apparently he's been training his ass off. So who knows? So Dufty Kerback. Bellin Sims out. Ramsey's back to the wing. Ravalawa. Jordan Perez out. Bird to the back row. Billy Burns out. Zach Lennox are another week away. All right, so Asako. Here's a newie. Sh Selwyn Kobo. Never heard of the dude. It'll be fine with Jesse Arthurs, Mead, Kelly, and Gamble. That's good for my team because I've actually got Kelly and Gamble. I wasn't sure if Gamble was back um, for, from suspension. Lodge, Turpin, Flegler, who I've got as well. Glenn, Pangai Jr., who I've got. Asiata, Hetherington, um, Keenan, Pasali. He's actually still in the interchange, so that's good. Bullymore and Rabadi. Jeez, I've got a lot of actually good players, the Broncos. This kid looked really good as well. And so did this Palisai, uh, Keenan, whatever his name is. Looked really good. So Ricky's out of the team. Not It doesn't, doesn't even make the cut. So let's have a look at this. Uh, Gamble's back. Lodge is back. Haas, Haas and Coates are out. So and Kobo. Flegler, front row. Gamble and Kelly. Very good. Glenn's back. Yeah, so pretty good. Is there anyone in that those two teams that I would want to bring into my side? Um, really, the weak spots for me are a hooker. I need a hooker spot. I don't want to bring Jake Turpin and I'm not really keen to bring Andrew McCulloch in. I could bring in a winger. Selwyn Carbo. Never heard of the dude. If he's cheap, I could bring him in but just to get rid of... Was it Tour? I think? Is that who I've got? I don't know. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Yeah. Was it Tour went last week for Empire. Okay. So... Maybe this Keenan, Keenan Palisai, maybe a hipsy spot. All right, next we have Tigers and Panthers. Dane Laurie, Nofo, Adam Dewey. Look, Nofo and Adam Dewey, you could get them into your, into your team um, for this round. Fantastic. So now, even James Roberts on the wing looks like a completely different player than he was at center. So even that's a possibility. He's probably cheap as now 250 so it's worth a look could i do that ben trevojevic out for then i got too many tigers and i don't really want any of them brooks um tell my little 12 alex 12 is a good option dual position i think he's about 520 something like that or three four four sixty four eighty i can't remember off the top of my head ghana Luciano, Leilua, Cifaf, Stefano's back into the team for those people who kept him. Law, Amon, and McKaylee. So still no Jake Simpkin, which is no good for me. He was my other hooker option. Um, Luciano, challenge. So if he challenges it, he's out for two weeks. So who knows what's going to happen there. Cifaf, from out of the starting side. Up and go away, out. Stefano in, so Stefano's in. Good for you people who have him in your team. All right, Edward Staines, Crichton, Momorowski, Jennings, Burton, May. With Matt Burton, a great option. 
this week. He's been a great option for the last probably four weeks. Um, Crichton's a good option. It's people who still have stains. Even Edwards. Yeah, who knows? Spencer Lino is he into the starting team. Kenny Fisher Harris, Gareth Sorensen in, Ivan who's in, Salmon Hopgood, Smith, and Toga. So a lot of changes there because I got a lot of players out. Um, Jennings, Tyron May, Mitch Kenny. Mitch Kenny at hooker. I like Mitch Kenny. I don't know how much he is, but I don't think I'm going to buy him just for this one round. Um, James Fisher Harris, a fantastic option. Even Billy Army kick out, but he's a bit rocks and diamonds. We've got Storms and Titans. Nico Hines, people who jumped on Nico Hines four weeks ago, five weeks ago. <sighs> killing it, absolutely killing it. John Jennings, Smith, Olam, um, Iriami. He's played before, I think. Johns, Hughes, Bromwich, Smith. Brandon Smith's the only option I really think that I could get in at hooker um, for this round. No one else compares to what he brings to the to the team. Nelson, Eisenhoof, Bromwich, Vanuken, Booth, Kamakamika, Lewis. This dude, Aaron Penne, he actually looked really good last week. Um, Bromwich with the play, Kabusi out. Um, Aaron May in, Adakar, Joe, uh, Cooper Johns, Nelson, Chris Lewis. Right, Titans. Jade and Campbell is in for Brimson. Don Kelly. Brian Kelly looks like a good option even this week. Could I bring him into my team for somebody? I think I've got the money. Brian Kelly. Brian Kelly. 470. What did he get last week? Oh, he got a 36. He's a bit rocks and diamonds too. But the, sh the Titans were terrible. Actually, no, I don't want to bring him in. Herbert, Sammy, Taylor, Fogarty, Wallace, Rain, Jolliffe, Proctor, Stone, McHenry, Peachy. Tyron Peachy's back from suspension. People who had him. Clark, Whitbread, um, Vuna. So, look, there's no real options that I want to bring into my team from the Titans at all. Brian Kelly, the only one probably. Um, Storm, Nico Hines, Hughes, I'm, I think he was going great guns and then he had a, a slow game the other week. Um, Brandon Smith, so Brandon Smith and Nico Hines. Alright, Knights, Texoy, Stafford Tower, Tawala, Best. So I've got Best, Musgrove, I've got Watson, so Watson is at 5'8". Crossland, Suaso Sue into the starting team. Look, Suaso Sue is actually pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure he's about 200 and let's, let's have a look. Sue, 289. He only played 23 minutes or something last week and got 62 points. The week before, 19 minutes, 54 points. So his points per minute, uh, even if he scored, it means he's putting himself in the right position. And is he dual position? I think he could be. Yeah, he's dual position. Look, he could be an option that I actually look at this week and get rid of Greg and bring in Suaso Sue. Just for the sake of it. I think um, Clem is out for a week or two. Um, Frizzell's out for a couple of weeks. So... Saifidi could get injured in Origin. So, Suaso Su, starting prop. Braley, Saifidi, Jones, Fitzgibbon, Barnett, Kurtman, Josh King, Johns, and Sagasi. Sagasi. Um, has in an early plea. So, Clemmer's out for two weeks. Places Clemmer in the front. So, so twin brother. Carsten Vazell's gone. So... That's who I see for myself as an option, Sawaso Su. Just to get an extra number and he's cheap. And his dual position so he can move him around. Um, Clinton Gufferson, fantastic option this week for fullback. If you want to trade out um, Teddy or Turbo, bring Guffo in, make some cash. Who knows if Teddy and Turbo are going to actually play next week. Sivo, Opacek, Blake, Dunster. 
Hayes Dunst is in. Brown is back. Moses is a good option for people who want to um, trade out Cleary, which is a stupid idea, but some people probably might want to do that. Campbell Gitter, Gillard, Marnie. Isn't Reed Marnie 18th man, so that means he's not playing? Or is he 19th man? So I don't know that. Nakurai, Papali'i, Madison Brown, Smith, Lane, Kafusi, Cartwright. Marnie named has been selected at dummy half and is eligible to play if released by the Romans. Morant, Romans. Dylan Brown, Kafusi, Blood Arthur, Nakura. Alright. Ooh, Dunster's in for Fergo, who's been dropped. Well, there we go. Hayes Dunster. Let's look at Hayes Dunster's price. Hayes Dunster. Alright, so he's in for Fergo, who's been dropped. Flat out dropped. Um, ben Trevojevic. Could be time for Ben Trevojevic to get out of the team and bring Dunster in. And that gives, look, so I might actually make two trades this week and that'll give me two players. So I'm looking at straight swap from Trevojevic to Dunster. Fergo's been dropped. His defense has been terrible. So Dunster's getting an opportunity to play. And that could mean he's in the side from here on in. Who knows? So Arso Sue in for Clemmer and Frizzell out. So dual position, I can put him there. Okay, so that is my plan, I think. Um, let me know what you think about those two. Um, yeah, but a bit of a surprise there, Dunster. And who's the kid in at the Broncos? Kobo. So the problem with that though, Xavier Coates is coming back into the team. Um, a lot of people out at the Dragons. So Jack DeBellin, worth a look. Maybe next week or the week after. For sure he's going to get into that side for the rest of the year. If they're bringing him in now, he's going to be in that team for the rest of the year. So you could risk it and, and buy him this week. But you just don't know what he's going to be like. Um, good luck, everyone, this week. My numbers might go up to one, two, three. Bring in Suasa, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bring in Hayes, that's twelve. So I might have twelve this week, which ain't too bad. I'll give it a go. Has Dunster? Has he played two games already? <laughs> he got a seven and a one. Uh, so that's bringing him in. Who knows? Who are they playing? Newcastle. All right. Well, like and subscribe. Like always, leave a comment in below what you think of these teams list today. If you're going for Debellin, or if you're going to take my little advice and get Sawaso Sue in, just for that number and dual flexibility. Um, Hayes Dunster, Dunster in for Travojevic. I don't know what Travojevic's role is going to be at Manly. I have no idea. Should I keep him? I have no idea. All right, leave a comment, like and subscribe, and good luck everyone this weekend, and I'll see you on Monday.